Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man we had on the program just a couple of weeks ago as we were kind of talking about what is next. And when I saw the news that he got a short notice opportunity in the UFC, it made me think about our conversation journey. I remember we talked and right at the end of it, I said, hey, what's next for you? You mentioned about, hey, I'm, I'm staying ready just in case a short notice call does come. And of course, it, it did come your way to to get into the UFC to, to fight here on June the 29th against Ricardo Ramos. Uh, what what was that? What was that call like for you, just personally? You know, after all these years of hard work to finally get that call, you've been you've been waiting for. Yeah, it was a <laughs> it was a good feeling. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of mixed feelings going on right now, only because I gotta get everything situated with paperwork, and you know, I I, I got all these interviews, and everybody set me up, you know, congratulating me. So it's supposed to take in for sure. I don't. I think it's hit me just that only because I have all this stuff I got to do, especially I got to, you know, prepare for uh, Ricardo Ramos as well. So, but, and actually he's no slouch. I definitely have to keep, keep my eyes open and get this win, which would be a, a big one for me for my UFC debut, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think that's the one thing that a, a lot of fans don't think about when these short notice opportunities come about. Uh, you know, for someone coming into the UFC is all the medical stuff that you have to get done uh, to get ready for this fight. Is it kind of, it, 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 are you kind of at that point, you're like, man, do I can really do any more medical tests? Yeah, 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 you're not lying. Jeez, like, it's a lot to take in, for sure. And I'm basically done with everything. It was, you know, it's just a hassle to do all this in such a short notice uh, period. And it's done. It's you know I got it all done with. Uh, they are hitting me up, you know, through email saying, like, "Oh, well, you kind of forgot this paperwork. Can you get this in?" And uh, I'm trying to just trying to do the best I can, just trying to get it all out there so I can clear my mind and just focus on this one guy. <laughs> when when you get the call for this fight, is it is it something where I don't know if it was your manager or your coach that gave you the call? If it was your manager, Jason House, what, was it something where you had to then call your your coach and say, hey, we've got this opportunity? Or is it one of those things you just basically tell the coach, of, hey, by the way, FYI, I just accepted a UFC fight? Yeah, we, I took it. like uh, Right off the bat, I took it. As soon as Jason called me, uh, he was like, hey, Journey, we got you in. And I was like, no way you got me in. He was like, yeah, we got you in. You're fighting in two weeks. I was like, oh, no way. Like, it was short and I was and I was kind of hesitant on it, too, uh, with him telling me a short notice. But at the same time, I just fought in, in May. So I was I was, I'm, I was basically already ready. Like, I was still training even after that fight because that fight didn't really last too long. So I kept my training up. And I no, I did not hit up my, my coach. I didn't hit up my coach until after I accepted, basically. So d- did you call the coach first or step on the scale first to see how much you weighed? I, I definitely called my coach first and told him that we accepted. I didn't really care where my weight was at. I knew it was uh, basically in, in the normal range where I would cut weight, uh, just so maybe like one or two pounds heavier. But it, this is the UFC. You know, we don't really have much of an option. I saw the opportunity, and I just took it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and so many fighters talk about that. So, you know, you get these opportunities that you, you got to sit there and, and take it. But when you look at, at Ricardo Ramos and, and – uh, obviously, I know you and and everyone around you have really been looking into him. He, you know, he's coming off a loss back in February, but prior to that, he he had been on a roll in, inside the UFC. Um, is there something about Ricardo's game um, that sticks out to you that may not stick out to the common fan that just you know loves watching fights? He has a really good ground game. Um, nothing has really stuck out to me. Uh, nothing that, you know, I can see from, from his fights or at least from his, like, highlight videos. He's really good on the ground. He has good, good stand-up. And he has four fights in the UFC. He doesn't have that. Uh, I don't believe that he has that octagon jitters because he's had four. This will be a fifth. And I know he's coming off a loss. So I, I, I don't know how – I don't know who he is. I don't know if he's the guy who comes off a loss and he's hungry and he wants that win or – you know, he's a guy who just took off, and he's like, okay, well, on to the next one, and we'll see how that one goes. I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm hoping it's that second <laughs> it's that second option where it's just, oh, okay, well, we took that loss, and we'll just 
try to do better next time. Because me, I'm I'm hungry. I'm hungry for it. This is my opportunity. Uh, I've been proving myself. Uh, what we're at six fights now, six a six fight win streak. I've been proving myself. I, I finished my last three opponents. I'm hungry for this win. I'm not too sure he is. For the fans that are going to tune in and watch your fight here uh, against Ricardo, what would you want those fans to know about you heading into this fight? Uh, I'm a guy who man, has been doing this for quite some time, and he's got his opportunity, and I'm just looking to chase those dreams. I'm looking to chase that dream that I have my eye on since I walked into uh, impact Jiu Jitsu and Kajum, where I've been at for the last 10 years. You know, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people work hard, but a lot of people don't, don't, don't spend the enough time doing that one thing that they want to do. You know, a lot of people give up halfway through it or like in the beginning. So like, really what I want people to know is just like, you cannot give up on something you're fighting for. It's, it's hard and it's hard work for sure. But I think people just don't take account of the, the time, the time that it takes to, to get where you want to be. And there were a few times where I was, you know, I thought about it. I was like, man, I should probably just stop. <laughs> but we pushed through that. We pushed through that uh, the first time. We pushed through the second time. And this is now we're now we're here. We're actually living the dream. And I, I can't really, like, express it enough. I, I haven't really, like, it hasn't hit me yet, you know, because mm-hmm. it's a two-week notice fight, and um, I'm getting everything done. But I am. I'm living the dream right now. And it, all it did was just take a little bit of hard work, and then all it did was just take time. Is it one of those things, and, you know, and various fighters go through different experiences, but a lot of fighters will say, you know, I'm trying to make sure that I'm taking everything in during fight week. So is there something during fight week that – you're really looking forward to, obviously you're looking forward to the fight on, on Saturday night, but is there something else about fight week that you're just really looking forward to? No, not necessarily. Um, I play everything by ear. Um, I think it's just best that way. You know, a lot of times I, I get a, get in too much into my head and I'm like, Oh, I gotta do this. Oh, I gotta do that. You know, the fight's this, it's this time. And, Oh, I forgot to do this. I wonder how my weight is. Like, I'm trying to just take everything, um, you know, an hour at a time, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, today I had I had work. Um, I just finished my last day at work. Um, I had, you know, a few interviews with you guys at UFC. And then, um, I actually have a dentist appointment that I got to get to. And then I got training later. So, like, there's a lot that I do on a daily basis. And then leading up to fight week, going – you know, going towards fight week, it's it's just like I really have to keep my mind clear because stress is stress is you know something that we all deal with. So I think that does play a part in the fight, and I just want to make sure that I don't have as much stress as you know I have before in fights. This has to be a clear-minded fight as much as possible. Yeah, I mean, you know, fighters, you know, they'll talk about that the various stress aspects. Is that something that was there a, a point in your career where you kind of you figure out how to kind of control all that, or is it still something you kind of, you know, every week you guys just kind of deal with it? Yeah, uh, I mean, I assume like down the road that, that it would get to that point. Maybe, maybe I've already reached it. I'm not too sure if I've if I reached it yet because the nerves still get to me. I just think that's with everybody though. Like if. If there's a fighter out there that says that they're not afraid to fight, like I, I definitely believe that they're lying. Like there's there's some lies in that. You're you're a human being. You have emotions. Um, anybody going into a fight, they're gonna feel those those emotions. They're gonna feel their heart racing. You know, and it's just something that you really can't control. I like to think of it as just embracing that feeling and just accepting that. Uh, until you until you're done. Until you're done with that fight. I mean. Basically, when I get into fight week, um, emotions get the best of me, and I just try to embrace all those feelings. My heart beats super quick. I'm just like, okay, we'll just just let it be. Just let it be super quick. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get this done. And usually, I mean, I'm nine and one. It's been working out for me so far. But uh, that's that's what I think for me at least is I just embrace that feeling 
And that's the only thing that I've used that has changed from, like, you know, my amateur days where I was I was really frightened and I really didn't know how to control those types of emotions. But now it's, it is getting a little easier, but I'm not going to sit here and say that, you know, I'm not afraid to fight. That's just, it's just a straight lie. And, of course, we look forward to seeing your fight here on Saturday night, June the 29th, UFC on ESPN3 from Minneapolis Journey. Uh, appreciate the time. Uh, good luck here in the fight. And, of course, let everyone know they can follow you out on social media and if there's uh, any sponsors or, or people that you've been helping out that you want to mention. Uh, yes, I definitely want to thank the whole time throughout my career. Uh, AAA, Heating and Cooling, they're based out of uh, Portland, Oregon. And uh, my chiropractor, uh, Source Health Center, they, man, they they, <laughs> they definitely helped me with my uh, with my body for sure. I'd probably just turn it out if it wasn't for them, um, Dr. Michael uh, McCall. And then Ethan Royalty always giving me a uh, nice gear, always keeping me uh, keeping me intact with all my clothing gear. I haven't, I haven't went to the mall to go buy any T-shirts in quite some time now, <laughs> thanks to them. So. Um, then, then, then my sponsors I really kind of want to thank, and then my head coach Michael Chapman, and I, he's been with me from the get go, and it's it's awesome to have him come with me down to Minneapolis and, uh, you know, face this dream with me because he's been in there for, since day one since I walked into that gym, so uh, I like to thank him for sure.